and welcome back to episode 12 of Simulation Protocol 2. As always, Rock here. And we are back at the Purple Wool. Today, we uh, got, came, went about discovering the Purple Wool last time. Didn't get too far into it. Um, we uh, saw the bits and pieces of the castle place up above. So, I figured... As, at least as of last time, that would be a good thing to hold off and uh, get the exploration of that in an episode of its own. As we were running it about a half hour last time, and um, it, uh, I can't say I know how long this area <laughs> would be. So it's probably best in that situation to just save it for its own episode, just in case it takes a long time. All right. So let's see. Did we find the entrance way over to it, or were we close to it? Oh, that was a whiff. We have a spawner over there. We have some witches over there. I feel like there might be something over here. Since I'm seeing witches, that might be worth taking a look into. Um, at least... If anything, taking out that spawner, which seems a bit out of place. Oh, there's a chest right there, that's why. I say, the spawner seems a bit out of place. There's not really anything over there, but there is. Um, let's get up here, over here. Is there anything up here? It doesn't look like it. All right. Well, it doesn't hurt to look, does it? No. Let's see, what kind of spawner are you? Oh, measly little skeleton spawner. Pish posh. Okay. God, zombies coming over here. Smite two knockback. Pretty good. Let's get some crits going. Wish we can two shot these guys with some crits on our sharpness three. This guy will take three. Ah, damn, it. damn you. All right, so it looks like we're, well, mostly good. We have all the terrible mobs of the night coming over to say hi to us. Hey, what's going on over here? What's going on over here? Mind your own business! All right, what do we have over here? Uh, that was a chest. I'm pretty sure I took a, take a, took a look. Took a look at last time. I think it had stakes in it and stuff. An instant damage potion. Okay, let's deposit a few. Eh, I guess we'll keep you a few things just to clean up our inventory. Mm. I'll deposit you. A uh, few things just to clean up our inventory some. All right. Like so. All right, so we did find our way. We did find the way up. To it, we just didn't get over to it. Ah, oh, hell, I saw that blaze. Nope. Alright. Appears to be a blaze spawner over yonder. Where to be precise? I'm sure I'll find out here in a second. Once it spawns again, it's probably behind some sand. Is there any out of place blocks? No. Well, we'll just get some lighting down. Oh, right here. I <laughs> found it. Okay, so it was round. Bingo. All right, blaze dealt with. One less problem, problematic thing to deal with. Um, you're not that well armored. Lots of zombies. Well, if anything. Lots of XP and lots of zombie flesh makes Rock happy. Because. Whew. Lots of zombie flesh means lots of pork chops. Lots of pork chops to make Rock happy. Um. Whew. Whew. All as nice as bread is, the more pork chops I have. <laughs> Happy I am just because of how much better pork chops is than bread. 
one of the cooked pork chops, the best, one of the one of the two best foods in the game, along with steaks. Um, anything up and around here? Just wanted to do a quick investigation, just to double check, make sure there's no hidden goodies around. It's one of those things that I felt that could be done more is a bit of exploration since we haven't really done that as much as we should be doing in this map to be honest um it seems that tika has liked to hide loot and even areas around <laughs> so it's one of those things that we should do more is exploration i'm not going to deal with that guy because he is out of our range of uh, importance. Okay. Let's get a couple of nom noms going. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I'll try to be nicer with all the ladders. I'm sure you will, Tika. I'm sure you will. Oh, that's a lot of spawners. It's surprisingly well lit over here. Not really much uh, threat with those spawners. I mean, one of them spawned, but that's not really too much of a threat. Nothing else around. Oh, there's a chest over here. Some golden apples. Perfect. Get rid of those. And that. Insta heal three. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing else around. All right, perfect, perfect. Uh, looks like we're going up. Well, my God, we're not in a hurry. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Look at that sneaky bastard right there, just waiting, watching from the corner, from the shadows. He's like Batman, waiting. Knock us down into the depths of hell. Oh boy. Um, this could only end poorly. So I'm going to block those and that and that off. That way if we get knocked down, I'm not going to have to deal with falling potentially to my death. Nope. Oh. No. Not a chance in hell, my friend. I say no. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. That's definitely somewhere I think we're going to have to get to. Whether through the breaches of all of this or pillar up to. Because that definitely looks like something. Um, okay. Secured that. Oh. Let's uh, make sure we have our anti-wither skeleton barrier here. Not that he was too much of a threat. All right. I assume by that pathway being blocked off, it is an oh, alternate pathway maybe. No, I didn't crit him. That's why. I assume by it being blocked off, it's an alternate pathway kind of thing that we don't necessarily have to go to. Oh boy, I'm gonna be using a lot of blocks in this area, aren't I? Um, which I feel like I want to investigate that blocked off path. Let's see. Let's see if it was an alternate path. Something that's not necessarily go down, but gives a bit of bonus loot or something like that. And blocking that off. Hopefully I find some more building blocks. Because I was not prepped for that. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, that plays nicely. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, we're going up. Oh, and down. Ah, it doesn't look friendly up there in the slightest bit. And there's definitely a gas spawner over there. And right there. And right there. Ah, there's a lot of gas spawners here. Let's get some apple juice going. And some bread. Maybe a little bit of regen. You know what? Let's do strength too. Just to make sure things go as planned. That. Oh. That. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You. Hmm. You. Oh. All right. Okay. Get out of the fire. Okay, I think I dealt with the majority of the problems. Nope, not yet. There's still a gas or two around. I hear him over there. Hit him? No. Got him that time. I think there's one more, two more. Sounds like two more. Oh, solid diamond boots. Prop one. I see why it was so heavily protected. And a splash, two splash strengths. That was definitely worth the effort. So it was indeed. Oh, way over there. Definitely was indeed. There we go. A bonus side objective, like I thought. And definitely was worth the effort. Uh, where's the ladders? Right here. And a gas tier, too. And a gas tier! <laughs> Look at all that good stuff we got. Um. Let's see if I can find a chest real quick. I can drop off some garbage in. Perfect. Still got my shot. My aim. I still got it. <laughs> okay. Let's get up here. Find out what terrible things we're going to have to deal with up here. That's uh, one technique. I've talked about it before, but for those who are newer, is that you can place, if you place a torch on a ladder, it will place it instead on a block in front of it. So, if you... Ooh. If you are in need of, or if you're wanting to light up a platform... Ooh, a platform that you can't see or get to yet, um, because you're on a ladder, that is how you do so. It definitely makes things... Significantly easier. Okay. What do we got over now? Okay, we've got a couple chests here. Perfect. Let's get some lighting down just to make sure we don't have anything bad that comes over and fist us. Oh, that's right. We're strength potioned. That's like, man, I'm wrecking these mobs. Oh, not that. Right. We'll go back and look at those chests in a second. I just wanted to get some lighting down so we didn't have to worry about any potential threats that might have. Might have came over to us while we were trying to investigate some chests. Alright. So what do we have? Alright, nothing that can get down to us. What do we got here? Smite 2 fire aspect. Perfect. Some more insta health. Perfect. Glowstone. Don't really need at the moment. Let's drop off these. I'm... Mm. I wish I still had that Featherfall 4 book. 
Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to save those boots and upgrade their our prod on them. Uh, there's not really a huge amount of reason to use them just yet. Um, I mean, we could use them and get some use out of them, but I think overall um, it's going to be more efficient to save them, um, wait for some more enchanted books, and then upgrade them and then wear them. Um, probably getting at least Unbreaking 3 on them and maybe Protection 3 before we worry about using it too much. Is there anything down here? Yeah, there is. Okay. But uh, that is my thought with the diamond boots is just waiting, holding off for now. I mean, it's not going to hurt to wait a little bit to use them. Fortune 2, efficiency 2. Hmm. Some viruses too. Not bad. Not too shabby. Alright, let's block off the floor here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh boy, what's up here? I have a feeling that we're getting closer to the wool. Oh, nope. And placing a torch like that has that apparently been at a benefit of placing on spawners. Potentially placing on spawners. Any more up? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We're still going further. We still got more to. More to find up here. That is a gas spawner. So that would probably mean it is where the wool is. I don't see any other higher areas than that. So best guess, we have found where the purple wool is for the area. I'm teetering on a little bit. Ooh, lag there. Oh. sure what that is. I might have to toggle fraps real quick. I think I might do that. All right. I'm not sure what it is, but fraps has a tendency to be derpy sometimes. Okay, so we have a gas spawner here that we're going to have to get up to as quickly as we can to deal with uh, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a... Oh, boy. Oh, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a, an imminent threat. Obviously, it is. Whew. Thank you, Skeleton. You made things easier for me. <laughs> okay, so apparently there is a handful of spawners over here. Oh, yeah, a handful of spawners over here. And some riders, it sounds like. I missed you. Got you. Okay. Still some more spawners. Deal with you guys real quick. Ow. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a gas spawner under that one, too. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, we did get that chest. I hear you. I don't see you. Where are you hiding? In this direction? There you are. Okay, perfect. Guests and spawners dealt with. This room is cleared. Were there any chests in here? Yes, there was. Ooh. All right, another item to save and <laughs> cherish, love, and protect. 
um, at least until we get the enchants to make it good. Again, this will probably be another one of those pieces that we'll probably save um, until we get the appropriate chance where we can use it well. Um, let's hold on to those for now. I am running out of inventory space fast. And I don't know if I want to carry all this stuff with me. Let's leave it right here. Um, all of this stuff that we don't need to carry with us right now. That if we die and lose, we say we fell into a pit of lava, we would be devastated by. <laughs> So let's not do that. Drop you off, drop you off. We are out of strength potion. So maybe a note one of these will be good. Uh, I think that's good. We'll save that up for now. Head up there. Trying to be a little bit uh, self-conscious about... Oh! Oh no! Like this! Damn it! <laughs> this is why. This is why I put my stuff in the chest. <laughs> first, I first saw something like that happening. Wow, shit. Um, let me get back over there and try to grab our stuff, and uh, I'll be right back. Whew. Well, it looks like <coughs> I should have gotten most of it. Hopefully, um, my food's not here, which is terrible. Um, pick. Sword armor. Alright, aside from food, it looks like we got most... Well, we lost arrows too, which probably burst it out over there. Or over there. Um, do I have any food around here? No. Okay. I know I have some food up and about. Do I want to go down? I could just do this. Okay. Let's go see if I can find any of the remaining pieces of gear down here. Um, more specifically, food and arrows. And then we can go from there. It looks like I didn't go... I did go that way. Um, if I can <laughs> recover them, I would like to. Uh, all right. I'm trying to see if I can see it. I probably have to, would have to get down there in order to see the pieces of gear. <laughs> what did you drop? Iron pants? No. Oh. Thank you. You're kind, sir. I will use you to repair. <laughs> uh, there's one get down. All right. But yeah, food is a big, big thing we are missing. That would have dropped. Ah, there's a potion. Perfect. Oh, our bow. And spider rider. This guy I saw on my way up into the tower. And I did my damnedest to avoid him. <laughs> Which luckily I was able to. Uh, anything over? Yeah. Oh, hello. I heard you, Creeper. It's not looking like much other stuff survived the catastrophe, the Great Fall. And just the potions. And our bow, luckily. Which I don't think is going to do much when we only have four arrows. Alright, so we lost a little bit. Um, from that death. Uh, mostly food, arrows. Yeah, that's kind of it. Food and arrows, which I believe we have some food, luckily, up above. Got zombie flesh. I would prefer to not eat those if I don't... I prefer to not eat it if I don't have to. Okay, that looks like the extent of what we lost. Food, arrows... And any unnamed things that may have been in my inventory. Food, arrows, maybe some potions. Potion or two. Um, it's a building blocks, maybe. 
those items probably fell into the fire. So we're out of luck in that respect. But I think we're good overall. Let's try to avoid getting hit if we can. Um, that one was the, was the unnecessary way. Um, luckily for us, I had the, the the insight to place our stuff in a chest before I went up towards that that uh, pathway. <laughs> Which, if I didn't, I probably would have lost a lot more stuff to fire fire uh, fire pain. Fire sadness. Okay, this is where we... Near where we had hit the ground way too hard. And you would think for having Featherfall 4 that it might have saved us and, you know, put us at very low life. But, alas, that is not the case. It is not the case. Alright. So let's see if I can get my way up there. Find our food in the chest. Which... Do we have food? I thought we did. If not, we'll be eating zombie flesh. Begrudgingly eating zombie flesh. Oh, I lost some torches too. That's what I lost. I had a nice two stacks of torches or somewhere around there still. You know, I only have one. Okay. I lost a little bit more than I thought. Nothing that's irreplaceable, really. Oh, good. There is some food in here. Luckily for us, as I said, nothing that's irreplaceable. Um, all of that stuff we can easily replace. Arrows, not so much, but everything else. Actually, no. We got all our blocks. Okay, perfect. I'm going to grab this fire resist, though. <sighs> See if I can get back up <laughs> and not knock down. Damn baby zombie. Ruining everything. Oh, that was a blaze spawner, too. Ooh, no, I need to save these arrows. Okay. Get out. I'll save some sword durability if I can, since our sword is about to die. Boop. Oh, I see you. Mm. All right. Whew. XP. Plus prop three. Night vision, insta health. Man, so so. Uh, where's this leading us to? Are you going to lead us to a wall? That would be very kind of you, Tika. Bound to find it eventually. And I see that gas spawner right there. So we're going to have to be careful of that big boy. We were definitely going to have to get within range of it. And that up there is probably another ghast or a blaze spawner. Ah, oh boy. Boy, there's skeleton. I bet it's that we're going to have to get up to. It's just a matter of how we're going to get up to it. We'll probably find a way to get up to it. Uh, prot 2. How's our gear doing? So-so. I think we'll an apple. Another strength potion. Not that we need any more, but we have them. I guess should we? Yeah, it's a place spawner. Oh, that's a lot of blaze. You, baby zombie from hell, ruin everything. All right, if I remember correctly, if they can't see us, they'll float downwards. Will that work? Sort of. I'm out of arrows, too. Shit. All right. We'll have to make ourselves a little wall. <laughs> As we slowly move our way over. 
to the blaze spawner. As they infinitely bla spawn. Zombies. No time for you. Not currently at the moment. Oh boy. I might have to go back to base and get some resources. Oh no! Wait, wait. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! <laughs> I forgot I have fire resist on me. Skeletons, please give me some arrows! You give me one. Oh, that's not enough. Alright. If we get far enough away from those blazes, they should despawn. Oh, God, the sign. This is not the way to the wool. That's probably a shortcut to get back down. If I had to guess. Please. Please have arrows. Something good. Something that I'd be proud to have. Oh, God. Diamond pants. Well, I will be proud to have that. Yeah, zombie, get him! Good job. High five, zombie. <laughs> you saved me a little bit of time. Of effort. Though, where did that guy spawn from? He spawned from somewhere. Perfect. Okay. We're managing to hold our own for now. How long will that last? How many arrows do I have? Not very long. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, boy. Uh, small lens. Someone is mentioning I miss the small lens Damn it. chest in the last area. Um, all it is, really, is an emerald with some slowness or uh, minus movement speed on it so it's nothing really good worth getting uh, as i already have the uh, emerald block oh my sword's about to break too um shit how much durability do i have on it uh, f3h um 11 10 10 durability okay I've got 10 9 swings with it before it breaks I want to repair it oh, this is disgusting looking I may have to take advantage of stuff like that creepers you might be my weapon of choice Perfect. Um, I had ten. Get off. Okay, I've got a few arrows, two arrows. These are spawning. Ah, shh. Oh, that's a trap. All right, just a fake out trap. Oh, no, we did blow up the bridge. Okay. I think... We're going picking. <laughs> our pickaxe is going to be our weapon of choice. Let's see how well it works. Well, that kind of worked. I don't know if it worked because... Uh, God damn it. Make it think, make things so much difficult for us, Tika. Of course, it doesn't help that I don't have a weapon. I do have wood. Let's make myself a cobble weapon. That will be sufficient. Thinking outside the box. Hey, hey, thinking outside the box. Hey, hey, thinking outside the box. <laughs> Alright. I need... Some sticks. Myself a cobble sword. And I think we'll use the rest of these for torches. Perfect. There we go. Not something you do every day in the CTM. But it's 
Thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box. Hey, hey, thinking outside the box. Hey, hey. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. A laggy skeleton. Ah, thank you. Um, I might. How do I want to do this? Um, I'm gonna have to make myself. Oh, I wish I had an arrow. I'm gonna have to make myself Ooh, a little bridge. Why are you standing? You invisible bastard! Okay. Out of blocks. We've got a little bit of these. Oh, we'll make it over there, don't you worry. Through hell or high water. Through hell or high water. Hmm. Okay. I think I want to make that, if I can, one more wider. Nope. Oh. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. One more wider should be sufficient. Ah, five regen. Insta heal, strength. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. I need to get to that spawner if I can. Oh, no, 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 one spawner down. One to go. That's a start. It's a start of something. I might have to blitz it. I have how many more insta health? Two. Golden apple. Okay. I think I'm gonna blitz it. Migrating around the edge. Oh, good. A couple arrows. Alright, arrow there. I'll have to slowly take him out. Ugh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Are you getting there, Rock? There's a redstone torch down there. That definitely means something. Do I have any more arrows? I don't. Oh, they despawned. No, I didn't. That was a lie. Come on up. Damn it. Oh, no, I had an arrow. Damn it. There's something down there, definitely. Okay. <laughs> it didn't start out as planned. Oh, but it's definitely getting somewhere. Oh, I can't reach you from here. Well, bugger all. I wish I could bop those back at you. Okay. So let's ignore that blaze for now. If it'll if he'll allow us to. And see if I can get down to that redstone torch. See what that is all about. Yeah, 
if indeed it is about something. I would venture to say it is, as who puts a random redstone torch down in the middle of nowhere? Ah, yes it is. Aha! Look at all this. XP! Food! Delicious, delicious food. Some instant health. Three. Some regen. Awesome! I'm gonna take these building blocks. Well, hell. Alright. Well, I lost my helmet. But we did manage to find the wool. Found quite a few goodies. Um, diamond goodies, to be more accurate. Is there anything? Blast two. Yeah. I was hoping it was just a something not enchanted like that. And that is definitely something as well. I'll have to come back once I have some more arrows. Because doing anything with bla not blazes, gas, and not having arrows is a no-no. Lots that we're going to have to do for next time. I think maybe at the beginning of next episode, we will uh, go assaulting that. Uh, let's drop off a few of these things that aren't going to be beneficial to us at all. To keep. You, my friend, are not a nice person. Okay, that. Ooh. There's probably a shortcut that way. Um, I still need to grab my stuff, though, before I worry about it. So, in that case, it's probably not... Uh, uh, let's just go the normal way. I can check that out next time once when we, uh, we come up to investigate that, which is probably just a... Like a chicken. One of those bonus secret chickens that drops something. Something... Potentially useful. Uh, oh. So I guess we'll see for next time what that pathway is. Which, again, it probably just leads as a shortcut down to the bottom area. Alright. Perfect. That was more or less better than I expected everything to go. Especially running out of air or losing our arrows. Um, our sword being just about broken. So, I don't know if it could have gone a huge amount better. Um, let's see what I can nab out of all of this. Um, I had spider string I picked up somewhere. Did I not? Is it not there? Am I seeing things? Blaze rods. Do I need those? I don't need that, so I can grab that. That's good to keep. I could probably pitch the two arrows. Bones I don't really need. Um, Two arrows we'll pitch. We have a whole bunch back at base. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get our way back over to base. And uh, we can end the episode there. I will probably do a quick little cut since this is going to be a, a, a lengthy run. So uh, I'll catch you guys at base. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back at base. I haven't deposited anything yet. Oh, we lost our chest plate. Damn it. Um, haven't deposited anything yet. But I wanted to get the wool onto the monument before we did. I did that and before I ended the episode. So we have our silks, purple wool. So best guess, cyan will probably lead to the blue wool. Well, as we didn't find an entrance to the blue wool. <laughs> Unless the, uh, that pathway that said didn't lead to a wool leads to the blue area. Um, but I'm guessing it's more or less going to lead to a shortcut out of that area. As we've run into quite a few areas that had shortcuts towards the end if they were longer. Um, but that is going to do it for today. Very, uh, very somewhat productive episode, I would say. We got a wool. I did lose some stuff and died. For shame. But it happens. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for joining, everyone. 
If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!